Oh, it's so delightful. That's amazing. This might be my new favorite vegetable. Not that the competition was stiff. <laughs> <laughs> Copenhagen's food scene has a serious focus on sustainability, and Restaurant Relay is leading the way by using as much of every vegetable as they can, keeping local produce on the table all winter long. So here we have a celeriac or celery root. It's a root vegetable that we have to use here in the wintertime. The harvest season for spring and summer is so short, so we have to rely on these root vegetables to kind of be a real staple on our menu. First, we would just trim off the roots and then have a peeler and very gently kind of keep the round shape and just peel off the skin. So then that's where we end up with this very, very beautiful ball. And then from here, we would just use the meat slicer mm -hmm. and then just cut very, very thin paper slices. And if you were going to do this at home, would you just use a mandolin slicer? Yeah, you could definitely do that. But what we want to do is kind of keep this whole celeriac together. Because mm -hmm. then when you fold it, you kind of have this kind of natural layering. So yeah, you literally just fold it in half and just tie it together very tightly. It works really well with carrots and uh, beetroot. Oh really, you could do the same thing? Uh, we've done different ways, like there's times where we kind of rolled it almost like into a hockey puck. By treating celery root like you would a fine steak, Chef Jonathan Tam transforms the starchy root into a buttery, flaky, layered treat. So we just started off with uh, neutral oil, so sunflower seed oil is what we use. And you kind of want to find uh, where you get a lot of the layering showing. So you can see here, you kind of just only have one bottom piece, mm -hmm. but how this one's folded, you want to start off with that, because that's going to be the presentation side. And you kind of just want to get a little bit of browning and a bit of a crust. How cute these are. Yeah, so you want this kind of foaming action to going on. Mm -hmm. And then from here, you're kind of just maintaining. You have it on the heat, sometimes you have to take it off. You just have to watch it. Okay. And then every now and then when the butter gets a little too browned, you just kind of take it, remove the butter, and then just add, add more butter. <laughs> yeah. And then from here, we just kind of treat like the meat, like your steak or fish that you see in a lot of the cooking videos, and just just spooning butter here. It makes you feel like you're really chef. Yeah, it's very chefy. We're not going to turn it again. Okay. We're going to let the bottom kind of just fully caramelize. Nice. So that is perfect here. So you can see how much they've shrunk, but because we didn't fold them or flip them, they're still having the nice layering effect. Yeah. And then I'd imagine like a meal of mostly root vegetables can get kind of heavy. How do you like inject some freshness into those kind of dishes? I think the, the main thing is kind of relying on a lot of acidity. Okay. So we kind of have a lot of different types of uh, vinegar mm. that kind of helps, even though it's these starchy uh, ingredients, kind of have a more fresh taste. For this particular one, we, we've made an oil out of uh, savory, a herb from the summertime. Oh. So by kind of adding that herbal flavor, even though we can't get it fresh now, right. it has this green note to it. So it's not just completely uh, celeriac. So there's there. Oh, yeah. That is nice. You always want to check underneath as well. So, so the bottom gets a nice char. Ooh, yeah. And then from here, we want to kind of have some flavor and go in between some of the layers. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to take it pretty much in half. And then when this black puree is actually just the trimmings of the celeriac. So all the little uneven odds. Exactly. Ends. So all the bits. And then we just grill it really, really dark, thinking of how they like to use char vegetables for like a mole. Oh, wow. That's the inspiration. And then we would blend it and then add in the pear vinegar to kind of freshen it. Perfect. And then this is just uh, some oil made from savory. Mm -hmm. So it's a herb that we find almost tastes like rosemary, a bit of oregano. And it kind of is nice to kind of break up the earthiness of the dish. Yeah. And do you put that like through like a fine mesh sieve or yeah, anything? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we, we blend it in the thermomix and then we use a, a metal strainer or the chinois. Okay, cool. So then you do this and then you, we kind of want to repeat it because it's a lot of celeriac. Mm -hmm. So to ensure that they get enough of the flavoring. And what kind of salt are we working with here? Uh, this is actually an Icelandic sea salt. Oh, nice. Yeah, same oil. And then we also add a little bit of puree to the plate, middle there. 
And it's such a simple, just like beautiful presentation. Yeah, so that's kind of what we want to do is we always want to kind of talk about or showcase the main ingredient. Mm -hmm. And that's why our plating is usually very, very simple. Yeah, it looks exactly like a chocolate croissant. So you get an interesting texture with all the layers. Mm -hmm. We almost find it almost, also with the savory, it almost tastes like a lasagna. Yes. What, Everything okay. is just made from celery. I was trying to put my finger on it. It does remind me of a lasagna. That's amazing because it does have that kind of oregano flavor. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. I'm Glad gonna, to hear. Thank you very much. I'm going to keep eating this now. <laughs>